I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on solving multiple choice questions based on trigonometry. Now these will help you to do well in many competitive exams. I am sharing with you a few tricks after explaining you the concept, we will apply them and solve few multiple choice questions. Now this time what I am working with is trick number 5. A cos x plus b sin x equals 2 r cos x plus alpha where alpha is angle between 0 to 360 degrees and normally we are taking r as greater than 0 in our calculations. Now this is a very standard formula where r will be equals to square root of a square plus b square and the angle alpha will be tan inverse of minus b over a. Now this is also called wave equation. Right. So this is a very popular equation. Now many times you have maximum minimum type of questions which could be solved in this. So you could have a question like find maximum value of 3 cos x plus 4 sin x. You don't have to do any derivatives. You just get the value of r which is the amplitude. You get an idea, right? Or you could have questions like equivalent expression for cos x plus sin x. So first, let us see the derivation of what is given and then we'll answer these questions. I hope that sounds good. So this is the approach which I'm taking for all the tricks which I'm trying to explain, just helping you out to answer multiple choice questions slightly faster. So let us prove this first. A cos x plus B sin x equals to R cos x plus alpha. Now, from here, uh, let's begin with expanding the term cos x plus alpha, right? So I'm expanding this term, cos x plus alpha. So that is a compound angle formula. I could write this as cos x cos alpha minus sine x sine alpha, right? Now, we could also write r times, let me write r times, r common, then I can put it in brackets, no problems. Now, if you compare with the given equation, let me just open this up, we get r cos x cos alpha minus r sin x sin alpha. Now, if you compare this with the given equation, which is which is this, then you can, because cos x is there, r cos alpha could be written as a, right? Similarly, r sin alpha could be written as minus b. So comparing, we can say r cos alpha equals to a and r sin alpha equals to minus b, right? So if I square them, I get r square cos square alpha equals to a square and I also get r square sine square alpha equals to b square, right? So when you square minus b, you get positive. So when you square both sides. Now from these, if I add them up, so that is to say r square cos square alpha plus r square sine square alpha is indeed equal to a square plus b square. Now from here you can take r square common. So we get cos square alpha plus sine square alpha which is 1 is equal to a square plus b square. And that gives you that r square is a square plus b square or r is square root of a square plus b square. So that is how we get this part. Now to get the angle, let's divide one by the other. That is to say, we could do r sine alpha over r cos alpha. That will be minus b by a so this is r and r cancel. So we get tan alpha equals to minus b by a and alpha equals to tan inverse 
of minus b by a does it make sense to you so that gives you the second part so that is how we could write the some kind of a thing as a single expression cos x plus alpha now from here we can find we can actually sketch the graph we can find the amplitude we can find phase shift and so many things so it's a very very important equation so i like you to understand this and then answer the questions so the very first question here is what is the maximum value of 3 cos x plus 4 sin x so i could write this as r cos of let's say some angle uh, x plus alpha right so that is how we are going to write where r is what so r is a square plus b square square root that means 3 square plus 4 square square root which is square root of 9 plus 16 which is square root of 25 which is 5 so r is 5 and therefore that is going to be the magnitude so we know the answer that the maximum of this is going to be the amplitude r right the second question here is equivalent expression for cos x plus sin x now again now here the coefficients could be treated as one right one cos x plus one sin x so in this case i could write this as r which is one square plus one square square root so that is the value of r which is square root of two and as far as the alpha is concerned i could write this as tan inverse of now tan inverse of what b over a minus b over a so it is minus one over one so we get tan inverse of minus one so which is minus pi by four do you get an idea minus pi by four so so when it is minus pi by four we get the formula as square root two cos of x minus pi by four right so option c is the right option you should know that first one you could write this as cos square x plus sine square x but this is this function is always greater than or equal to zero however the value which we are going from a cos x plus this could be or between plus and minus one so this could be negative also right so this value could be negative therefore this does not match so if you get that as an answer it will be incorrect so let's be very clear about it so this wave function could be written as shown here and it really helps you in many types of questions including curve sketching so you could also apply this on curve sketching or matching the the graph of a function trigonometric function so i hope that helps feel free to write your comments and share your views i hope uh, these tricks are really helping you we'll sh show you a few more tricks to solve multiple choice questions however the concept of understanding is very important. So once you understand, you can very easily apply all these tricks in the questions. And some questions may involve combination of these. So we'll take up those also at the end of our series. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.